What's going on hikers? In today's video, I'm about to help you get the best night of sleep of your life. Well, maybe not of your life, but uh, at least it will help you get a better night's sleep when you're in the outdoors because our mission on this channel is to help you increase your quality of life while you're out on trail. Now, I don't have time to share all of my tips that I could about helping you get a better night's sleep, so maybe I'll do more videos, but feel free to comment ones that I left out and help other people through those comments. Now, the first tip I'm gonna give you is about your tent. I have picked out the Sea to Summit Telos TR2. This is the tent I take. Uh, I'll show you a little bit of footage. It's got a great set of amenities that come with the tent. And this thing has plenty of room because tip number one is you don't want a tent that is too small for you. Uh, you also might not want a tent that is too big for you, so kind of hit that Goldilocks zone. But this tent in particular, it's got plenty of room inside so I can spread out as much as I need. I can get comfortable in there. It also is freestanding, so I don't need trekking poles to set it up. It comes with the poles, and then I just stake it down. Now, our second tip, if you'll follow me over here, is whenever you're about to set that tent up, you need a nice, flat, level spot. And what you don't want is to be sliding in your tent at night and keep waking up. Now, what I like to do is take a one liter bottle and you can see there's a little bubble in there. And what that bubble will do, if you put it down on the ground, it is gonna help you figure out a level spot. Now this is not a foolproof method. Uh, it's just kind of a, an eye test to help you see. And you can put it in different spots, kind of turn it both directions and see how level the ground is in this particular area. Our third tip has to do with what you're sleeping on. You'll be inside your tent, but you're gonna be sleeping on a pad most likely. I picked out an inflatable pad because I think it's a little bit more comfortable than the closed cell foam pads. This one in particular is the Nemo Tensor. It's the Alpine version. So it's got a higher R value, which will keep me a little bit warmer, but the regular version is fine. I'm gonna link this and every piece of gear that we talk about in today's video in the description below. So if you wanna do some more research or check one out to buy, um, absolutely click that description and, and click on the links. But this in particular, our second tip is you don't want to over inflate unless you like sleeping on a rock hard mattress, which I do not. So my advice is to fill it all the way up. And this one actually comes with a pump sack. So it connects to the pad and it'll save you some breaths. You just blow into the pad or the sack and you roll it down. Um, also, after you get it all blown up, lay on top of the pad and then It'll be a little bit too hard probably. So if you're a side sleeper, maybe turn on your slide and then let some of the air out using the, uh, the valve that is part of this pad. And then you can set it to however comfortable that you want. A word of advice for you, if it's cold out and you leave your pad there for a while, it will deflate a little bit. So you might have to blow it up a little bit more before you actually crawl in and go to bed. One thing that helps me stay a lot more comfortable is having some type of pillow. Now I got two pillows to show you today and tip number four is to bring some kind of pillow even if it's a stuff sack with your dirty clothes or clean clothes in it that you're using while you're camping. This pillow, it is made by Thermarest. Uh, they also make a great mattress pad but this one has foam in it and this rolls down and you can close it up and compress it a little bit. Uh, this pillow is called the Nemo Philo pillow and it is inflatable. So. I'll blow it up here for you, but uh, basically it has some foam in it, but for the most part, your breath is what's going to air it up the most. So this one is probably one of my favorites. Uh, I also sometimes will bring just like a cheap knockoff inflatable pad that doesn't have any padding because I like to keep a pillow in between my legs to give me a little bit of support there. Our fifth tip for today, this is a little bit controversial because some people think it's not safe. Do what you will with it. Um, you can probably hear there's quite a bit of bugs and noise around me while I'm filming this video. The cicadas are out, I think. So I like to bring some earplugs. Now these especially help if you're backpacking with other people and they snore and you have to camp next to them. So pretty self-explanatory. It's the same kind of earbud, uh, earplugs that you would use maybe if you were shooting guns or you know working at a factory or something like that. You can just buy them at any big box store, maybe even a gas station, and throw those in your ears before you go to sleep, and you will be good to go. 
Before we go any further, I do want to mention something to you because I want to save you some money. If you're checking out some gear, it doesn't have to be the gear in this video. It could be any gear, whether it's camping or hiking or backpacking, anything outdoors, you can find it at our video sponsor, backcountry.com. Longtime supporter of the channel and they have all your outdoor gear needs. Now I bought all of the gear that I'm showing today on backcountry.com. If you want to save some money, use my code JeremiahBC15 to save 15% off of your first order. Some exclusions do apply. Now if you're shopping around on there, maybe you got some questions or you're stuck between a couple pieces of gear, maybe you don't even know where to begin. They got your back. There are some awesome gear heads on there that are experts in different fields of outdoors. Um, I usually go to the hiking camp section because that's the gear that I'm shopping for and I'll use the chat feature and I'll chat with them and ask them all kinds of different questions and get my answers. But if you're more comfortable just giving them a phone call, maybe that's easier for you. You can click on there, you can call and talk to them and have a great conversation. So thank you backcountry.com for supporting the channel and providing the gear that everybody needs to get outdoors and saving people some money. Our sixth piece of gear I could talk for a whole video about, but it's all about your sleeping bag. Now you could use a quilt if you wanna save some weight. My favorite sleeping bag is the Nemo Disco 15 degree. It's not super great for summer, but while I'm filming this video, we are headed into fall. I'll show you a little bit about it, but the main point is you want a sleeping bag that is the right fit for you, as well as the right temperature rating. So this in particular has a spoon shape. Now, I like to side sleep, and sometimes I feel like I'm getting too much of a bear hug inside of my sleeping bag. So I bought this one because with the spoon shape, I have plenty of room inside. Um, it has a zipper that goes all the way down, and you can vent it. This one also has um, a little baffle to help keep some more of the air inside, help keep you from losing that warm air that you've heated up inside the bag. It also has a hood that you can cinch up and it even has a little place in here that you can stick your pillow inside so it doesn't slide around on your pad. So this sleeping bag, absolutely love it. I've been using it for years. Um, <laughs> it has seen some better days. As you can see, I've burned it, I've torn it, I've had to patch it up, but that just goes to show you how much I love this sleeping bag in particular. You don't have to buy this one, just get the one that's gonna fit your needs the best couple of articles of clothing for you because tip number seven is take a buff that's just a neck gaiter and what I like to do is double it up and then I put it over my eyes kind of like a sleeping mask that's because I don't like the light waking me up in the morning um, whenever I'm out on trail I usually sleep in to be honest so this thing works perfectly for me and it's something I already have with me um, as kind of a sweatband and it has a million other uses now my other article of clothing would be a pair of socks. Uh, these socks in particular are a wool blend. Um, I'll link some below, but I like to keep these only for camp and whenever I'm about to go to bed. They stay dry all the time. I never wear them while I'm hiking and then that keeps my feet warm and I don't get woken up at night. So tip number eight, bring you an extra pair of socks only for sleeping in. Don't ever hike in them. Tip number nine, it's gonna be a little bit annoying, but you are gonna thank me for it. Whenever you are out on trail and you are ready to call it a night, you wanna do the same routine that you do at home. Now I got this from Backpacking with Jason. He's got an awesome YouTube channel as well. You can check him out. But in his opinion, he said, you want your experience on trail at night to be the same routine that you're going through at home. And that kind of gets you in the zone and gets you ready for bed. Now my routine, I like to brush my teeth. I like to do some stretching. I also like to clean up. At home, I'll kind of wash my face and wash down. When I'm out on trail, I just take like a, a pack of baby wipes. You can use these also after you poop, but whenever you um, are getting ready for bed at night, kind of wash the underarms, wash the nether regions, um, use a, a few different wipes, wash your face as well. Clean up and you'll feel a lot better crawling into that sleeping bag to drift off to a great night of rest. Tip number 10 is an easy one. This is anything that you might need throughout the night, uh, whether it's glasses like I wear, or maybe you want your phone handy. Um, some people like to use a pee bottle so they don't have to get out of their sleeping bag if it's cold out and uh, they wanna stay inside that tent and stay warm. Whatever you might need, keep it close by and at hand whenever you're laying there on your mattress pad, drifting off to sleep. 
that way you wake up in the middle of the night you're not scrambling around trying to find your shoes you hear a noise outside you want to check out and see what that is uh, whatever it may be you might want to check your phone check the time something like that just anything you might need keep it close by uh, in in immediate grabbing reach now like i said i couldn't share everything in this video that's going to help you with a great night's sleep so i want you to comment below give us some other tips maybe i can even use those and make another video with your all's comments if you've enjoyed the video give me one of these subscribe to the channel kick the notification bell for the latest notifications we'll see you in the next one